What is up people on the internet? I hope you had an amazing day and today I am going to show you how to create these uh, Pokemon nails. I always like to think of these kind of ones are the ones where if you have played any of the DS games they're the ones where don't wander in tall grass as you never know what might spring out. So yeah I think these are pretty cool, pretty neat. I do, they do make me think of the game very much hiding in the tall grass for all the mysterious Pokemon you can find in that lovely tall grass in the game. But anyway, enough talk, let me show you how to create these awesome Pokemon nails. So before we begin, you're going to need these decal paper off Pokemon. I'll put a link in the description where you can buy this from. And you're also going to need all of these different colour nail polishes. You're also going to need this stamping plate. And you're also going to need your base coat, top coat and a quick dry top coat and you may also want to use some tweezers, liquid latex and a little wooden cuticle stick but do not worry, majority of the things I have listed in this video there will be a link in the description to show you where you can find all these lovely items from. Anyway enough chat, let's delve into actually creating this design and of course we've got to start off with the basics and we've got to apply a base coat on all of your nails you can either use a normal base coat that protects the underlayer of your natural nails or you can use a peel off base coat if you want to take it off pretty quick. Either way, anyone will work, anyone will do. Once you've applied the base coat, apply white nail polish as your base colour. There is a good reason why you want to apply white which I'll explain later. Now we're going to move on to the Pokemon decals. So you're going to want to cut out all your Pokemon off the piece of paper. And then how to get the decal of the paper is you're going to want to get your little Pokemon decal wet and the paper should just roll right off. You can either do it with a bowl of water or you can use your own saliva. I may have used water in this video or I may have used saliva since did I really want to walk downstairs to get a little bowl of water or maybe I did go down to get a bowl of water. I'll leave you guys to what you think I did. But anyway, once you've got your Pokemon decal wet, you're going to want to separate the paper and the decal differently. If you have a stamper, I would definitely recommend to put your Pokemon decal on there since it's just a good resting place for your little Pokemon and you don't somehow lose it on your table when you're creating this design. And as you can see on the stamper, my Pikachu decal is not as opaque as it shows on the paper it's very transparent so by having a white base colour on the design our Pokemon becomes opaque again so that is the main reason why I have done the base colour white so our Pokemon stand out nice and bold rather than being transparent anyway once you have got your Pokemon decal ready you're just going to place it in the centre of your nail once you're happy with the placement of your Pokemon you're then going to add a quick dry top coat on top to lock Pikachu into your nail and once you have done that then we're going to move to the stamping part of this design so this nail plate is really cool as it's got grass texture on which is amazing and you're just going to want to apply green nail polish over your nail plate scrape and stamp the design onto the stamper once you have got the grass onto your stamper you're going to remove any unnecessary part of the nail plate that you do not want on the stamper and then you're going to place the grass on the lower part of your nail you kind of want half of the Pokemon to be covered and half it to be shown to kind of show the mysterious hidingness of the Pokemon. Once you have done your first texture of the grass, you're just going to want to repeat this process over and over again till you are happy with how much grass is covering your nail and how much grass is covering the Pokemon. You can also do it with two different shades of green. For this video I've used a darker green and some of you may have noticed this darker green is not actually a stamping polish, it is just regular polish as you can stamp with regular polish. The problem you may find if you use regular polish when stamping is not as opaque as stamping polish but because our base colour is white our regular polish should be more opaque. But anyway returning back to the design once you have enough different shades of green and you're happy for how your grass is looking 
then just add a top coat. And there you guys have it. You should have these awesome Pokemon hiding in the tall grass. So hopefully someone wanders onto this tall grass, they'll be able to find these awesome Pokemon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Also, let me know in the comments how you're liking this kind of new reboot of the channel with me doing a lot more things, me doing a lot more different things, me doing like the Minute Monday videos, me showing my face more on the channel. Let me know if you are liking it, since if you guys are liking it, it knows I'm going in the right direction for this channel. But anyway guys, keep being awesome, keep being amazing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!